Hey guys, I'm GameSketch, and welcome back to Castle Crashers. We're about to uh, finish up this uh, Let's Play, besides the extra videos, of course. Um, and, uh, ah, jeez, I forgot to switch out this dog. And I still have this weapon. Oh well, we're about to get it anyways. Uh, spoiler alert. Mm, probably should have said that before spoiling it, but whatever. Um, I'm a bit higher of a level, just because I wanted to get my uh, defense all the way up, like, leveled up. So, um, this boss fight is fairly, uh, fairly straightforward, except one thing. Uh, you'll see in a, in a little bit. Uh, oh jeez, they're kind of separated. Uh, not good for my saw blades. Okay. These things, all you gotta do, really, is, um, just stand in a straight line and, uh, just walk down like this. Oh, hey. Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, these are acting a little weird, uh... I tried recording this about three times now, and uh, they haven't done that. Okay. Anyways, that was the first phase of the fight. Very easy. Um, this is the second phase. Blue, uh, uh, here, I'll just let him live so you can see. Um, blue shield means magic only. He will only fire magic, and, well, actually, he fires magic all the time anyways. Um, here, you'll see. Yeah, see, he still fires magic, except it's splash damage. And in a red shield, you can only hurt him with, uh, um, like actual physical damage. That includes arrows, by the way. Um, I had to learn that the hard way because uh, I was firing arrows at Rapid when he had a blue shield because I thought that meant uh, range damage only, um, not just magic damage, and uh, I took quite a bit of damage the first time through. But anyways, yeah, third phase of the fight, very, very odd. Don't understand how this happens, but um, nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, um, very simple. Um, all you gotta do is just keep jumping up basically and hit him. You can even jump up to him if you don't have that jump I have. Um, it, it's really easy. All you gotta do is just, yeah, dodge those things that I just hit and completely failed at dodge. Dude, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Um, it, it's usually much easier to dodge. Don't, don't do it as I do, do as I say. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just here, I'm just gonna make this a little bit easier, use my saw blades on him. Usually by now you should have magic, um, so a little bit easier. Dude, I got hit four times. Like seriously, that's there's no excuse for that. Okay, end battle. Let's go. And no, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, kind of odd part I was just talking about. Um, he's pretty high up in the air, so unless you have a super jump or the dog that um, here I'll, I'll explain that later in the extras video. Unless you have the uh, dog that allows you to jump higher or a super jump, it's pretty hard to get up to this guy to damage him. Um. Uh, besides that, this is a, another pretty easy boss fight, and as you may have noticed by this point, I don't know the damage uh, that they can take, like, the health or hit points that any of these uh, phases have, so I'm sorry. It's just the source that I have doesn't list the uh, HP for any of them, so I really have no idea what it is. I would totally tell you guys if I knew, but... Basically, um, the only reason I use that is for official names, the uh, source that I have, I use it for official names and, uh, um, like, HP, and, uh, the rest of it I just, you know, kind of make up with those crazy names, like, all the things that I said the Necromancer does, uh, that wasn't actually listed on the source that I have, which is, by the way, the wiki, you should check it out, it's pretty extensive, pretty sweet, um, as most wikis are, um, I don't know why, it would seem like such an easy troll to go, uh, like, defile a wiki page on something like that, but, you know, nobody really does that. But, of course, they hang around YouTube instead and troll on us. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, as long as you ignore them, they're fine. Okay. Uh, this last phase of the fight, um, is a little bit more difficult because these fireballs, they can very easily hit you if you don't continue moving. Yeah, see? Um, but, wow, that was kind of quick, actually. Sorry about that. Okay, so all you gotta do now is land on the crystal, and that is it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for, uh, watching me play this. <laughs> I hope you uh, make the choice to uh, go buy this game yourself, because it really is worth it. As I've said before in some of the other episodes, 
I have had this game for over two years now, and I'm still playing it. Um, it is a just a really interesting game. It's not like a normal RP normal RPG where you take turns in battle. It's it's like a mix of I'd say, well actually it's kind of like Dead Island except without zombies. Um, and the fact that it's like a first person uh, instead of first person I mean it's like um like a side scroller and uh, you still level up um, through basically the same premise except um, you don't level up by damage dealt it's uh, by hits um, dealt I guess you could say like every hit is one XP point which led to a lot of uh, exploitations in the system but anyways I might tell you that in extras video something like that um, but yeah it's just uh, it's a really simple game yet it's really fun because um, most beat em ups usually have no real premise to keep playing after you're done with them the first time. This one does. It's called Insane Mode. Very, very difficult. I haven't beat it myself, actually. Um, it's just this insanely hard version of Castle Crashers that, um, even at level 99, because I have two 99s, the, uh, Blue Knight and the, uh, um, I think he's called the Civilian. Um, those are my two 99s. Uh, even with those guys, um, you still take extensive damage from everything in the game. Um, it's really more of a dodging game once you enter insane mode, or a multiplayer game, really. Because it is really hard to do it on single player, I'm gonna say. I still have not gotten past the industrial castle in, uh, insane mode. It is just... It's so ridiculous. I, like, I'm not even joking. It's like... Ugh, they can kill you in, like, four hits there. And I'm level 99 with full defense and everything. It, it just gets way harder in insane mode, and it really prompts you to, uh, um, like, basically go back to their uh, alien hominid days of very tough gaming. Although, personally, I don't really see why alien hominid is that hard of a game. I mean, I've beat it all on all three difficulties, and uh, it's really not that hard. It, it's a matter of uh, knowing when they fire like it's kind of rhythmic and I'm really good with rhythmic games that's why I I used to play a lot of Guitar Hero and stuff um like you know how they say Guitar Hero isn't a instrumental game it's more of a rhythm game it really is and that's why I was actually good at it like I think I once 100%ed some song I can't remember what it was on Guitar Hero 3 um, but anyways but that's besides the point we're at the end of the game here so, with my name tag completely covering the face of the king and the... Well, actually, her face is already covered, but... Um, I'm gonna show you a couple things in here. First of all, you can obviously see all the princesses in here. Um, red, orange, green, and blue. Second of all, yeah, you can see all these, uh, things like... Um, the evil wizard with, uh, X crossed his face on a poster. Bunch of confetti, flying animals. Hey, that was actually, uh, Pazzo, the, uh, dog I have. And the black cat. Um, obviously, it's cat chasing a dog. But anyways, right here, um, you can actually find a weapon. Um, it it was actually patched, but I'm I believe in the PS3 version they added a weapon here, but it was a glitched weapon. So it it I don't know something weird happened with it. Like whenever you would uh, uh, get it, it would disappear out of your um, weapons frog. Like maybe a day later or something. Uh, it was just a really glitched weapon, so they just decided to remove it overall. Because a serious uh, glitch might have occurred from that. You know, maybe wipe out your entire system. Instead of just uh, the weapon itself. That would be really bad. So they just decided to uh, get rid of it totally. Okay, what what time are we at? Uh, only nine. Okay, we're fine. Um, with this new quality I have, I can only try to... Uh, um, I think it's 20 minutes is the limit. Um, then I gotta stop and restart or else the uh, file size will just get tremendously huge. But anyways, um, uh, see this X in the ground? Me and my uh, friends have still not been able to dig that up because it's so hard to defend while somebody digs it up because when you get shot, um, it's, it's really weird. It's hard to explain. It's like when you get shot, you slightly move backwards like that, um, and I guess it like disturbs the other player while he's trying to dig up the X. You have to be like, like, you basically have to be standing, oh, oops, you have to basically be standing right here to dig it up, but you, 
you can only go like this much forward to defend the arrow, so there's not much space between those two. It's really hard to get to that X. I still don't know what it is. Um, but anyways, let's kiss the princess and get this over with. Now, um, after that somewhat disturbing cutscene, I will kind of uh, try to explain this to you, um, because I was thinking about uh, saving it till Alien Hominid, but some people might watch my Alien Hominid HD walkthrough and not this one, so I may as well just reveal it here. That clown, who is aptly named Tricky the Clown, um, evidently some people, like, remember on the painter level, um, you saw that um, uh, painting of a uh, orange princess with a sword in her back. Some people uh, believe that that means they killed the orange princess and replaced her with that clown. Um, although, it's it's believable because you never see her face throughout the entire thing and she might have been a different person altogether. And they might have just killed her. Now that's kind of... One thing I have to say about that is... Uh, um, <laughs> The reason it's linked to Alien Hominid is because in Alien Hominid HD, you can see a really creepy clown in the last few levels behind a window. Um, it's it's really weird. But anyways, that's the only link. Uh, that's why I was considering saving it until that point, but I decided against it, so I just told you here. But anyways, um, about that, uh, um, the clown thing. Uh, why I think it's somewhat unreasonable is... I mean, the evil wizard chose her for his princess. Why? Like, the only reason he would kill the cl uh, kill the uh, princess and replace her with the clown is if he knew he was going to lose. And obviously, I don't think he had an intention of losing. Because uh, the clown was supposed to be like some sort of a... Like, something. I don't know. Maybe to attack them or something? But it didn't look like she was that dangerous. Um, this is kind of odd. It's just... You know, uh, unless he bent, uh, unless he uh, was planning on losing, so the clown would get into their possession. Um, why would they? Why would he kill the princess who he chose for his wife? You know. So um, yeah, there's my uh, take on that theory. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you like this let's play. I can't wait to see in the extras parts where I reveal more about um, certain animal orbs. Maybe some weapons. I don't think I'll be able to do an entire weapons list because I don't have all the weapons yet, sorry. Um, but I will be doing a full animal orbs list, a full uh, um, character list and how to unlock them and what they do, as in magic powers. And um, stuff like that. Uh, I'll try to do that as soon as possible because I don't really want to start anything else until I'm completely finished with this game. So, thanks for watching guys. I will see you later. I gotta end this recording before it gets too big, and goodbye.